Hello, good day viewers. Welcome back to another video. Here we are given that alpha and beta are the roots of this equation x squared plus 3x minus 10 equals 0. And right over here we ask to evaluate 1 all over alpha plus 1 plus 1 all over beta plus 1. Okay, let's see how to solve this problem. Please, if today is the first day of visiting my channel, please kindly support this channel by subscribing please like comment and share okay right over here this expression here we're going to express it as a single fraction so here we're going to have one all over alpha plus one plus one all over beta plus one so this is going to be equal to you know the LCM of alpha plus one and beta plus one is what alpha plus one multiply by beta plus one right so if you divide this by this we're going to have beta plus one then plus if you divide this by this we're going to have alpha plus one and right over here we can express this as follows alpha plus one sorry alpha plus beta right then plus here one plus one that is two then all over and down below here we're going to expand this bracket so here we have alpha times beta, that is alpha beta, plus alpha times 1, that is alpha, plus beta times 1, that is beta, plus 1, right? So from here, this is going to be equal to alpha plus beta, then plus 2, all over. Here we can write this as follows, alpha beta, then plus in bracket, alpha plus beta, and then plus one right okay so here we have an expression for the sums of the roots and the products of the roots right so let us go ahead and make use of the VTS formula for finding the sum and product of the roots of quadratic equations without first finding the roots of the equation right so here the sum of the roots alpha plus beta is going to be negative b all over a right so now if you compare this quadratic equation with the general form of any quadratic equation ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to zero so here negative b is negative three so here we have negative three all over here a the coefficient of x squared that is one and therefore we get negative 3 for the sum of the roots right okay let us find the product of the roots so here we have alpha times beta this is given by c all over a and if you compare that c here is negative 10 so here we have negative 10 over a which is 1 so this will give us negative 10 right okay so we can evaluate this expression now so that is alpha plus beta plus 2 all over alpha times beta plus alpha plus beta plus 1, right? So this is going to be equal to negative 3 plus 2, right? All over here, negative 10 plus, here we have negative 3, then plus 1, right? So right over here we have this as negative 3 plus 2, that is negative 1 all over right over here this is negative 10 then minus 3 plus 1 so this is going to be equal to negative 1 all over so right over here this is same as 1 minus 10 minus 3 right so here we have 1 minus 10 minus 3 and that is going to give us negative 12 right so these signs cancel out so we're going to have 1 all over 12 and this is the right answer thank you for watching please do well to subscribe to my channel please like comment and share bye bye